everyone, Abby here. And welcome back to my channel for Tech Tuesday or welcome if you're new. Today I'm gonna to be doing a comparison on the Garmin Vivoactive 4S versus the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. And I've also gone ahead and left timestamps in the description below for key points. If you wanna to jump to any part in the video, like battery life, for example, you can go ahead and do that. I have the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 40 millimeter in the color pink gold. And I have the Garmin Vivoactive 4S in the color dust rose light gold. So I've done in-depth reviews on both of these watches. So if you guys are interested in seeing, you know, full details on either of these you can go check that out I have it on the top right for you as well as in the description because today I'm gonna to be focusing on the main differences between these watches and I'm gonna let you know which one I prefer and which one I would recommend to you know different types of people so going into the prices the Samsung Galaxy watch for 40 millimeter goes for 329.99 Canadian or 249.99 American while the Garmin Vivoactive 4s goes for 479.99 Canadian or 349.99 American. But as the Garmin View Active 4S has been out for a lot longer because of this, it is going on sale quite frequently. And it's on sale right now as of recording. So the prices today are 349.99 Canadian or 249.99 American. So we're getting more than $100 off, which is absolutely great here. And because the Galaxy Watch 4 is so new, only being out for a couple of weeks at this point, you're a lot less likely to find it on sale at the moment. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna show you guys the packages real quick. So here I have the Garmin Vivo Active 4S package. So here we can see the picture of the watch, more of the watch. And here on the back, we can see a huge description of everything this watch can do, such as like the battery life, music, Garmin Pay, and then the bottom. And on the Galaxy Watch 4, we can see a picture of the watch here, nice and beautiful looking. We can see on the side is just say Galaxy Watch 4 in a light pink. And then right here it says 40 millimeter. And then on the back here, it's just a couple of kind of like things about the watch can do. It has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS. All right guys, so I've gone ahead and listed the main differences between these watches on screen for you guys. So I'm going to be going more into depth and let you know about the most important differences that I found, but I have a bunch of them listed on screen for you guys um, for anybody who wants to take a screen cap or just want to see this information. So there is a difference in design here for sure. So with the Garmin Vivo Active 4S, it does have a bezel running all across here, a light gold color, and then the two metal buttons at the side. And for the Samsung Watch 4, it's almost like a bezel-less design because it's so thin just at the side. There's nothing actually on the watch face here. And this one also has two metal buttons at the side. All right, guys, so these watches do have a lot of similarities in common. And I've listed a bunch of them on screen for you guys, just the ones that I thought were kind of the most important, such as having a color display, having built-in GPS, Bluetooth, sleep tracking, as well as some activities they can both track, and more on screen for you guys. So in terms of the bands here, we have an 18 millimeter band on the Garmin Vivo Active 4S, and we have a 20 millimeter band on the Galaxy Watch 4. There's also a difference in the holes, guys. So there's a lot more holes on the Garmin Vivo Active 4S watch here than here, so it can definitely fit like smaller wrists on this one anyways. So that might be a really great option for some of you who do have smaller wrists. All right, so just kind of looking at them side by side, we can see that the Galaxy Watch definitely looks bigger. They're both supposed to have a 40 millimeter case size, but they look definitely this one looks smaller to me so the next major difference between these watches is battery life guys so with my uses which I have on screen for you guys I have gotten just 14 to 16 hours with the Galaxy watch 4 while I've gotten five to six days with the Garmin Vivo Active for us so now talking about comfort I do find both of them pretty comfortable um, this one actually the Galaxy watch 4 has a really soft band which I like it kind of feels like silky in a way the heart rate sensor here is a bit elevated it's a little bit of a bump so when it's actually on your wrist guys it's only the little like heart rate sensor here that's actually touching your skin so you don't have that much kind of watch on you kind of more airflow that gets under there whereas with this one this whole area is directly on your skin and it can definitely get kind of sweaty at times when you are working out so the next thing i'm going to talk about is the displays guys so on the Garmin Vivo Active 4S here, we have Garmin's kind of traditional sunlight visible transflective display. And this is something that's always on, you know, excellent battery life here. This is a display that is meant to be super visible in the sunlight. And honestly, I find it super easy to read indoors and you don't really ever have to press the brightness 
unless it's nighttime and you need to see it in the dark but this is a display that you know is nothing fancy definitely not amoled you know you have true colors on here and excellent to read a bunch of different lighting situations and on the galaxy watch 4 we have a circular super amoled display so definitely we're seeing kind of brighter bolder colors on here but this one is a little harder to read in sunlight there's a lot more reflectivity as you guys can see on screen and you know you're gonna have to bump up the brightness a lot more and when you do that it kills the battery so <laughs> that is another difference here when it comes to activity tracking they can both track a variety of activities and exercises so that's fantastic there but I do find the metrics a little bit more accurate here because I do find the heart rate sensor more accurate on the Garmin Vivo Active 4S than it is on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. This one is usually off between 5 to 10 percent an example being so I went on a walk with both of these watches and you know when I was doing like a brisk walking phase my heart rate was in the high 90s which was accurate. Here I'm getting a 96. Here I'm getting a 78, which is definitely not accurate when you're like basically speed walking down the street to get your cardio in. All right guys, so the next difference here is the interface, you know, usability, how we use these watches. So Galaxy Watch 4 is basically like having like a mini smartphone on your wrist. There's a variety of apps that you could use on here. You could text people, you can answer phone calls, like talking directly on your wrist guys, because there's a built-in mic. Um, there's a calculator app, a bunch of different things that you can do on here. Um, like tracking your steps, your heart rate, all that stuff. So it's definitely a great option for a lot of people who want that kind of smartphone experience, being able to do all that stuff. But like a smartphone, battery life is poor. I'm talking it doesn't last the full day, guys. So that's kind of the trade-off you have to get for a watch that's more like a smartphone. So now with the Garmin Vivo Active 4S, this is kind of your more traditional smartwatch. I mean, you can do a bunch of different things connected to your phone, like check your messages, answer or deny phone calls, check all your notifications, and you can download some apps on here, but nowhere near the amount of apps that you can get on the Galaxy Watch 4. And you could track all of your basic metrics, like your steps, your activities, all your workouts. But the main difference here is that this one, you know, does it more accurately and the battery life is a lot better. So it's more tailored to tracking your activities than it is to kind of acting like a phone here. All right guys, so which smartwatch do I prefer out of these two? Well, I'm gonna go with the Garmin Vivo Active 4S. It's a smartwatch that I really enjoy. I love that it has an always on display, that it looks great in the sunlight, easy to read. I like that it has excellent battery life. You only have to charge this thing once a week. I'm someone who definitely forgets to charge stuff like daily, so having this would just be a no-go for me. I like that you get very accurate metrics from your workouts because I love, you know, all my data there. All right guys, so which watch is best for you? So, if you are someone who really cares about your fitness metrics, you want accurate data, you want to be able to have it always on display, that's easy to read in the sunlight, and you want a watch that has great battery life and that, you know, can keep you connected to your phone, answering texts, answering denying phone calls, all of that stuff, then I would highly recommend going with the Garmin Vivo Active 4S. However, if you're someone who wants more of a smartphone experience, you know, track all your basic metrics, physically talk on the phone on your watch, answer text messages, see all your notifications, use a variety of different apps, and if you're okay with charging your watch every single day, then I would go ahead and recommend the Galaxy Watch 4 for you. Either way you guys go, they are both definitely great smartwatches. They are definitely for different types of users. Um, it depends on what's more important to you and the experience that you're looking for from your watch. So that's all I have for today, guys. I hope you did find this comparison helpful. And if there's anything I missed that you want to know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.